Hello. So I got a tweet. And I got this. I got this tweet. And this lovely young lady says, Why do men only care about sex? That's what I imagine her voice sounds like. No offense. If there's any way that you cannot take offense to that, uh, do that. So it's your classic case of uh, generalizing uh, sex as much as you possibly can. Most likely because of something that has happened in your life recently. Fine. Here's my personal theory of why men are only interested in sex. Ready? Don't care. Here we go. I feel like desire is like a, a pendulum. And pendulums usually swing as such. But we're gonna do it like this for the sake of this video. So you have a guy's desire and a girl's desire. I think the younger you are and the more you don't really know what you want, the crazier your swing is. Maybe as you get older, it slows down a little bit. Maybe it doesn't get as drastic. And so it's easier to match up what you want and what the person you want wants. What want, what wants. It makes sense to me. Now I need to make it make sense to you. Some will say that men are wired to want to have sex with everything. There's something about nature that makes us want to spread our seed, which I kind of can't say without smiling or feeling like a really sexy farmer or like if Johnny Appleseed was in a porno. So that instinct is important to the human race in general. We'd like to keep it going. So we're going to seed things. I'll accept that because I can't disprove that. And it was written down by people who are smarter than me. And I don't I don't know if you've noticed behind me, but I've left out all my Bunsen burners and graduated cylinders, so I can't do any experiments that disprove that at this point in time. Some people say that men only think with their dicks, and that's not true, because I think our decision making would only be elevated to a higher plane, and we would make better decisions. I'm a big believer in two heads are better than one, and that's clearly not the case, because whenever men make a poor decision, they'll say, well, he was thinking with his Let's push that aside. Let's push our dicks aside for a second. Here is my theory. I call this the jaded little boy theory. In high school, when people discover dating, I feel like girls think they know exactly what they want. They need to find the high school equivalent of Prince Charming, which you and I know does not exist. That's why you see like all the good looking athletes with girlfriends. The guy with the best car in the senior parking lot who like a jerk parks on the grass. Get off the grass. He has a girlfriend. The kids who seem to have it all together at a younger age. And don't blame the girls for this. This is just what they think they want through no fault of their own. So then you have the guys that don't really fit into that mold. Maybe they're a little zitty. Maybe they're fat. Maybe they're just awkward and always smell like whatever they had for breakfast a couple days ago. Weird. These guys might approach girls and say, hey, would you like to go out sometime? They're not exactly what the girls are looking for and they too get pushed aside for the time being. But what happens to those guys is they grow up. Maybe they start working out. Maybe they develop a personality. Maybe they become independent and successful. All of a sudden, the world is their oyster and they start to become the guy that girls want when they're in their late teens, 20s, early 30s. Well, I'm just throwing out ages now. But now, they're hardened by all this early rejection. So then, they start to generalize. They say, well, I know from my past that all girls are like this. Now that I can get them, I'm just gonna f all of them. So to reiterate, the world is their oyster, and now they're gonna f that oyster. So that is why I think, depending on where you are in your life, it would seem like all guys are interested in sex. I thought about this for tens of minutes before making this video. That's how you know it's right. That being said, eventually most people want a family. Most people want to settle down and create kids from their reproductive organs. As people's desires start to level out, maybe eventually you can touch tips and then kids happen. I'm almost positive that's the way it works. Until then, try not to get discouraged. The more you understand about this interpersonal crap, the more you won't sweat the small stuff. In conclusion, I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you watch the newest Tweet Tap. I was just kind of chosen as the permanent host for that show. They'll have guest hosts from time to time, but I kind of got that job, and I'm very happy about that, and I hope you are too. I have a book and a new mixtape coming out that's gonna be released by DFTBA Records that I'm super excited about, and I'll let you guys know about the, the pre-release date of all those things. And then aside from that, I make videos every Tuesday and Friday, so I will see you on one of those days.